Okay, we're in round two. It's definitely a keep. I mean, we have all three colors. Got three spells. We have creature removal. Don't have a sorcery yet, but that's all right. There's our Sarkin's Rages. They're not the best in our deck, only because we're not super aggressive, but they are a removal spell nonetheless. And they can fin finish your opponent off, but yeah, they're not the... Uh, like I said, not the best at this in this deck. But we get to go, what, Behemoth into Enforcer, which isn't too terrible. Or Behemoth into Flatten, if need be. There's a Morph. There's a Spell Fist. kind of like that. I feel like my mana is going to be busy for a while, so I actually like the Spell Fist more than the Behemoth there. If he attacks, I think I don't block. Although, I mean, I don't mind him using a combat trick, but oof. Well, I gotta flatten that immediately. Although, I guess I don't technically. But I'm going to flatten it immediately because if he has a way to make that survive, that's gonna spell some trouble. So, we'll kill the big threat right away. We'll get in for two damage. Yeah, if he, I mean, if he had some way to put counters on that in response to my flatten, I think it was certainly in our best interest to uh, to flatten there. So now I'm pondering whether I want to do Enforcer or Behemoth. Behemoth I can use right away, which is kind of nice. I may just want to Sarkin's Rage his Morph and get in for another two. Three cards left in his hand. Sarkin's Rage is only going to get worse. I think we just kill this now. Sarkin's Rage is only going to get worse as I take more damage. Yeah, well, pretty glad I killed that. No plays. All right. Well, let's bash here. Enduring victory, and I can Sarkin's Rage's thing. Hmm. Sarkin's Rage bashes back for four. Or no Sarkin's Rage. I think I'm going to let him block first. And then I'm going to Sarkin's Rage the Tactician. I basically just need to clear some stuff off. He doesn't actually block, which is interesting. All right, so we're going to play the Behemoth instead. And then pass. That's scary.
Oh, I did have the Enduring Victory. Well, that's going to be tough to beat. So let's Tormenting Voice first. Uh, Bloodfire Enforcer's got the, the stuff, the goods now. I guess we just play Enforcer and then pass. Can't really afford to... Attack and get... I mean, I'm going to have to use Rage on his Flyer. I think that much is clear. No attacks. All right, well, that one doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Guess we play Siege. Wish I could leave up the the Rage. That's going to be pretty tough to beat. Alright, so I take a ton of damage. Oof, really didn't want to see that. That kind of spoils the illusion, doesn't it? Uh, so, I mean, we're in a pretty tough spot. Yeah, I don't think we can, I don't think we can win this. Yeah, I guess we just die, actually. I can't do anything. I mean, Sarkin's Rage is going to deal two to me. He's got enough attackers where he just attacks with everything and I die, so I'm not even going to show him the second Sarkin's Rage. I mean, I can block, block, but... Yeah, well, maybe he just attacks with flyers. Well, I still die, even if he just attacks with flyers. Okay. Definitely dead. So, let's figure out a sideboard plan against the Bant deck. Um, maybe I need some Butcher's Glees for, like, life gain. Coat with Venom, maybe. Probably not, though. Defeat. For morphs. Could see defeat actually being good in this matchup. For morphs. Um, better than everything else, though? Probably. Rending Volley? Yeah, actually, Rending Volley is probably better than defeat. Although, what, we only saw the tactician? What was his splash color? I should have been playing, uh, paying closer attention. No, I mean, I can hit his blue, too. What am I talking about? Yeah, running volley is just a necessity in this match. What else, though? Uh, I cut Drowner last time. I'm probably still okay with that, although it's good against his manifest. Maybe the Gorse Wine's a better cut against Ethereal Ambush. see that. Negate? 
for what? What did he use against me? Enduring Victory. It's very good against Enduring Victory, but I can just pay attention for that too. Maybe everything else is fine. Let's just try this. This hand's good. It's got everything we want. Opponent mulls to six and keeps. I mean, at the very least, pacifism's not a real out to Icefall Regent, which is actually kind of nice. And right into being should be able to help us hit our land drops, which is also nice. No play, which is good. Play the right into being. Two lands. So we need the double black for Archfiend, and we need a double red for Volcanic. Well, I think Archfiend would be a better top deck than... We actually need the blue, but regardless, I think we're going to be... Well, actually, I might play the Enforcers next turn now. Since I'm just like an instant card away from making that pretty good. Quartermaster, it's probably a card worth bathing in some dragon fire. Still an instant card away from the Enforcer having full value. I could have also, I kind of like, I could have played Enforcer, but I kind of like being able to attack him there. And having the Ice Fall for the next big threat, I think is beneficial. Hardcasting the Interceptor, which kind of makes sense, actually. More so than morphing it. If it's just trying to beat down. So I guess we play the Enforcer here. Because now, then he's more tempted to leave the Interceptor back. Or he might just swing and play another follow-up creature, but maybe I draw a blue mana for Regent and bash for more damage. Maybe he pacifies the Bloodfire Enforcer, which is also okay. All right, seems like he's got pacifism or something that's going to hold back Bloodfire Enforcer. Both of which are possible. All right, did have the pacifism. There's our blue mana, so... I kind of want to drown her here. Icefall region does make some sense, though. I'll do drown her next turn. I can sack the enforcer, and then I get maybe dig up a bloodfire enforcer. So if he plays a fifth land and pass, I just don't attack into it. Actually, no, I can. I can attack into enduring victory. Because he doesn't have the mana to deal with that. Wild Call is just a 4-4. Four, four. Should be able to deal with that. Um, 
guess we drown her first. Do I have any cheap spells? I could get... I kind of forget what I cut now, but there's no cheap black, so let's just do this first. Sack the Enforcer. Volcanic Vision, and we have the mana, and we can do it for three. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to do the, well, Rage, though, lets me deal some damage to his face. I think we still do Vision. Yeah, actually, we, we definitely do Vision. We bring back Rage. That's just going to be brutal. Plus, we get to play right into being... Uh, manifest that guy. He hasn't drink victory mana up. It's volcanic vision first. All right. So we can Enduring Victory, one of our Manifests. Hopefully he chooses the wrong one. Or he plays the Ethereal Ambush. That sucks. Should have remembered. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. He's in Sarkin's rage, range now, so... It appears that we're going to get this game. Alright. Didn't matter. Did get an Archfiend, though. Got to remember the Ethereal Ambush, though. That is important. And he's got some... I should bring in Negate. I got to bring in Negate. He's got spells that he's banking on pretty hard, and I think Negate is going to screw that up really badly for him. Um, these right into beings are just phenomenal in our deck. Maybe... Maybe cut a Sarkin's Rage on the draw, but... Having removal is good. And they're so good for Volcanic Vision. Maybe I cut a Warbrute on the draw. That Cutting Creatures feels wrong, though. Cutting Tormenting Voice also feels wrong, though, if I end up with a hand that needs some help. But maybe having the two right into being is good enough. But when you're running 18 lands, Tormenting Voice is one of the better cards you can have, in my opinion. Really helps a lot for red. I can cut a war brute. Not thrilled about it. Brings us down to what, 12 creatures? That's pretty low. But we have a lot of removal. And we can bring stuff back with command and muck dragger. I feel like Warbrute's good in this match, though. There's not a lot of stuff that can block it well. Let's cut it anyway on the draw. Um, no red mana. I'm going to keep. I don't think it's great, but I think it's something we got to keep. If I didn't have... 
I don't know. I think it's worth keeping. Like, red mana just dramatically alters this hand. Any mana helps this hand quite a bit. God, Tormenting Voice would be so good right now. I admit, if we miss land drop, we're in pretty big trouble, but we were on the draw. We had two lands. We have three turns to draw. If I can draw a red mana here, I'm in good shape. Did get the red. That's great news. So now we can Tormenting Voice. I think we actually Gore Swine, though. Since I didn't miss my land draw, I don't have to do Tormenting Voice just yet. I think I take this. So we're just swing here. If he doesn't block, I think we just Coligan's command, kill that. Did actually block, so we do it anyway. I have to make him discard, is that what it is? Wait a second, I can bring back Gorswine, right? Let me think about this. They trade, that's on the stack. I use Coligan's command to bring back Gorswine and kill this. I think that's pretty good, actually. That way I don't miss... If I miss a land, I can replay my Gorswine. If I hit my land, maybe I flatten something. I kind of like it. Okay. So now we call against command. Bring back this. Two to this. He wastes his Sky Captain. I don't have to discard either, which is nice. Missed two land drops so far. Not that that's the worst. Still miss land drop. Well, if I play Tormenting Voice, I have to take three. I think I'm just playing Gorswine here. If I draw a land, I'm in Outpost Siege territory too, which is nice. I'm likely going to have to go hog wild on some... We're just going to trade here. Or try to. Alright. I can kill most things. No plays is nice. Alright, hit the land drop. Let's just outpost siege now. Now at this point we're just straight up getting some extra card value or trying to keep forgetting about the stupid Ethereal Ambush. Should have told myself not to forget either, but I did. All right, take some damage, which is not good. I mean, we really cannot afford to take four a turn, so I'm hoping to dig up an island here if he plays a fatty so I can at least lock it down. Or a swamp so I can play my Archfiend. Either one, I guess, does work. Hope it's something I can kill with... Ah, oh, jeez. 
That's not what I wanted to see. Island would be good. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we play that. Icefall Regent. Lock that down. Pass. If he attacks with both, I probably just take four. Because then I can Bloodfire Enforcer plus Tormenting Voice next turn. Have good blockers. Yeah. Seems too likely he's got a way to deal with Icefall Regent, so we're going to take it. Alright, he f didn't do the Megamorph, so that's good for us. Scale guard too? Jeez. Swamp would be good right about now. Uh second so play muck dragger, is that right? I guess six, seven, eight. I guess I can't. Uh but I can no. Oh. Six mana, so I can do bathe plus. I think we just pass, leave up, flatten. If he has pacifism, I'm, I'm in some trouble though. I guess I could play enforcer and do tormenting voice. So let's tormenting voice first, maybe. Let's do that. Spell Fist and Drowner. Still didn't get the black mana. So I'm going to miss out on Muck Dragger, but that's all right. Let's uh, play the Enforcer and then pass. Gonna take three from the interceptor. All right. Well, obviously we have to block here. We could block like this and this. Were both of his manifest guys creatures? Oh. Well, that's not good. At least he can't. Yeah, at least he can't bolster that. And we can deal with his. Alright, it's not the worst. There's our Archfiend. Beautiful. So, I've only got seven, though. I think we got to kill this right now. So, Archfiend's going to have to wait, which is okay. And then we play, and we attack. Then we play Drowner, no sacks, and pass. I mean, I block Manifest, clearly. If there's any question, of course. I'm at five. If 
He also doesn't have the mana to do an Enduring Victory. I think he... That, that actually makes sense. I think he tried to do... Enduring Victory on my Icefall Regent, and then figured out he couldn't. All right, got the answer. Play that. Swing with Regent. Play Archfiend. This lets him sack this and get it back, I guess, but it also gives us a 5-4 flyer. I think I play BMS, too. If we can survive a turn, we've got a pretty, pretty brutal attack next turn. We can't block with BMS, so Pacifism takes this out as a blocker, but it also leaves us alive. I mean, we're definitely doing some blocking here. Alright, he had a second enduring victory, which is kind of a bummer, but... Not the end-all be-all. We're also like a Sarkin's Rage away from winning right now. Or just do Volcanic Vision, wipe his board. How about we do that? How much can we do it for? Three. We need a four. Oh, I just happened to have one in my hand. Um, how much can I smash for here? So close to killing him. Let's just take out his flyer. Smash with these two. Play Gore Swine and pass. So we've got two blockers. We lost Volcanic Vision, granted, but I don't think that's a big deal. I think I'm actually much happier he put the counter on his flyer. But it sort of made sense for him to do it to block the Icefall region. If he has pacifism, it's certainly not the end of this game. You'd have to have maybe Epic, Confronta Epic Confrontation plus uh, Hunt the Week, and we are actually dead. In which case, I should have left three blockers back. That's pretty tough to predict. All right. Pacifism, extra paid on that.
So, swing with the two lethal guys. Could have swung with the Drowner too, but I felt like if he had a combat trick. All right, didn't matter. He didn't have anything. So, turn to the earth and his. Oh, was his uh, his thing? Okay. Well, we got there. Uh, this was a close match. My God, that was a tough one. But we got there. Outpost siege and deck is just really working well. Surprisingly, it works a lot better than I thought it was going to, considering our curve and such. But uh, all right. Well. We're at least going to be doing another 8-4, but let's see how we do in the finals.